Sylvester felt he would be a rock forever, and he tried to get used to it. The days grew colder. Fall came with the leaves changing color. Then it was winter. The winds blew this way and that. It snowed. Then the snows melted. The earth warmed up in the spring sun, and flowers showed their young faces. One day in May, Mr. Duncan took his wife on a picnic. Let's cheer up, he said. They went to Strawberry Hill. Mrs. Duncan sat down on the rock. The warmth of his own mother sitting on him woke Sylvester. But he couldn't talk. He had no voice. Suddenly, Mr. Duncan saw the red pebble. What a fantastic pebble, he exclaimed. Sylvester would have loved it for his collection. He put the pebble on the rock. They sat down to eat. You know, Father, Mrs. Duncan said suddenly, I have the strangest feeling that our dear Sylvester is still alive and not far away. I am, I am, Sylvester wanted to shout, but he couldn't. If only he had realized that the pebble resting on his back was the magic pebble. Oh, how I wish he were here with us, said Mrs. Duncan. I wish I were myself again. I wish I were my real self again, thought Sylvester. And in less than an instant, he was. You can imagine the scene that followed. When they had eventually calmed down a bit and had gotten home, Mr. Duncan put the magic pebble in an iron safe. Someday they might want to use it. But really, for now, what more could they wish for? They all had all that they wanted. The end. Well, uh... I hope it works. Yeah, I guess we'll have to... <laughs>